the original aim of Steve Jobs, of whom you'll all have heard of, um, who was at the time, interestingly, the chairman of Apple. They had a very interesting structure there. He was the chairman of Apple, but he wasn't the president. He and Wozniak had started off with the Apple II, as many of you know, but they'd had to get venture capital money in, and the moment you get the money men in, they want a board of directors, and they want adults in charge. And Steve Jobs was not allowed to run Apple. The money man at the time, uh, I think the president was called Mike Markler, and he basically laid down the law. They had two projects on the go, one of which was the Mac. Here's a list of some more of the applications uh, whether Sean's camera is capable of focusing uh, these in, uh, in on these, I'm not quite sure. Let me just read some of them out. I should make clear that because this has been upgraded over a period of 12 to 13 years, there's been a lot more applications on there that were not originally available in 1984. This is more or less the way it was left in the late 90s. But you can see here, Mac Wright was there originally. Uh, Mac Draw, which I've just done with you, Mac Paint, you could even get sort of black and white brush strokes and spatter effects and so on. It's a very, very, very early taste of what things like Photoshop will be able to do for you and so on. Let's wrap up this trip down memory lane by saying yes, it could be used for serious creation of documents. Um, if you look at the screen here, um, there's a folder called Writing Etc in which my uh, daughters filed away all the essays she had to write while she was at Cambridge. But if you happened not to have a hard disk or there was some other essay that you'd backed up somewhere, you could of course always have saved it out to floppy disk and then recover it and do some more work on it just by inserting the floppy disk. Let's see what happens. I hope this is the right one. Not exactly fast. Disk reader making quite a noise. Here we go then despite the fact that the title of the floppy disk is More Games, it's actually got a couple of my daughter's dissertations on it. Now again, I don't know if you can see with the resolution of Sean's camera that actually at the top left of this icon there is a familiar W to signify that this is a Microsoft Word file. And yes, the Macintosh did have a significant enough segment of the market that it really was worthwhile doing Microsoft Word and even simple spreadsheets and stuff like that for the Macintosh. So let's double click on her dissertation and see what happens. Patience is so essential <laughs> with this early stuff. Notice this uh, notice that comes up about copyrights and so on. That's in a very clunky uh, screen font. I think that one is Geneva. There were three or four fonts for titling your screen windows and so on, uh, with names like Geneva, Chicago, New York and so on. But here we are, look, we're inside Microsoft Word on the Macintosh and you can see that this really is meant to be times bold. Slider bars down the side, gosh, those are radically new as well. Here starts the essay. The new interest in Latin was by no means confined solely to technical areas and so on. So, as I think I've already said, you could keep your essays either on your hard disk if you ran out of space or you wanted backup copies. You could put them on floppy disks in just the sort of way we're used to. If you had an attached image writer, printer on the serial port at the back of this, you could print out hard copies. You've got the beginnings there of everything you wanted and everything that we take for granted today. There's a lovely story there in the early days, I think the uh, team at Microsoft reported to Bill Gates and showed, the, showed him a prototype where they'd done what they called windows, which was just a set of tile blocks on a screen. You could open up, as it were, a window on a fixed screen, but it was part of um, a tiled collage, as it were. There was no way they could overlap, and there was no way you could grab hold of one and move it to a new place on the screen. And Gates just told them to go away and uh, think again. And he said to them, very memorably, because he didn't like mentioning the word, he said, it's got to be like it is on the Macintosh. You've got to be able to drag, drop, kill them off, take them to the trash bin, go away, do it again.